with two weeks before the election, has there been an issue that you feel like you haven't been able to touch on a lot that you feel like would be very important for the first district to, to know about? Well, yes, definitely. Um, it has to do with my economic background. It has to do with my concern about growing strong jobs for the first assembly here, not only for Wisconsin, but for the first assembly. And, and I've got to be honest here, folks. If, if our economy, if our Wisconsin economy was coming back like it was promised to come back four years ago, I probably won't even be sitting here right now. I'd, I'd be happy that there would be jobs for our young people. Our young people would be flocking back to Wisconsin for all the good jobs. But unfortunately, that hasn't happened at all. Um, we are nearly dead last in almost every economic indicator as a whole over the course of the last three and a half, four years in the state of Wisconsin. Now, when the Republicans got in four years ago, they said, you know, we're not going to work on the environment. That's not a major issue for us, or protecting our environment. We're not going to particularly help our senior citizens or those folks who are most needy uh, with health care or with good, pain, or decent paying jobs. We're not necessarily going to work on uh, public schools and making sure they're supported and they're funded well. But what we are going to work on is the economy. And we're going to grow great jobs, we're going to be a leader in the Midwest, and we're going to be a leader in the United States. And folks, that, quite, that just hasn't happened at all. And I think we're going the wrong direction with the policies that are being enacted right now. We're following a direction similar to what Kansas is following right now. They're not in a good state. Uh, we're going a different direction than what Minnesota is following right now in terms of their economy. Their, their economy is much stronger than what ours is right now. I think we need to go a different direction. Now, my experience in that area, again, I've got a business, a business degree, a, a, a master's degree in business management. I have also managed uh, medical clinics, uh, have started our own small business right now. I think I've got some experience in this area, and I am really looking forward to be able to take that experience to Madison, but most of all, I talked to the small business folks, and they have told me very specific things that they need. They need to have credit eased for them, because large companies, as large companies can, um, they get credit very easily for expansions. Our small businesses are not getting that credit. They need good, well-trained workforce. They need clear broadband access. So our small companies are asking for some very specific things that I think I can be a loud voice for them in Madison. Joel Kitchens? Well, I think, Joe, you need to get your economic data from somewhere other than just the Mary Burke website. <laughs> um, Wisconsin is not dead last in the Midwest. That's a ridiculous statement. We can, you know, you can argue about these different points about, you know, the, throw the figures back and forth, but here's the bottom line and the one that matters. The national unemployment rate is 6.1%. The average for the Midwest is 5.8%. And that includes North and South Dakota, which have virtually no unemployment. The jobless rate for Wisconsin is 5.5%. We are not, by any stretch of the imagination, the worst in the, in the I was going to say Big Ten, in the Midwest. Um, <laughs> you know, the one commercial throws out Michigan as being a shining star that they've created this job, all these jobs. They have Detroit in Michigan. I would hope that they've been creating jobs because it's been a train wreck there and they need to create jobs. But they still, their economy is nowhere near as robust as Wisconsin's is. Um, and this is an area where Joe and I clearly differ. I have been a businessman for 30 years, and with all due respect, I, I appreciate that you have this hobby of growing hops, but you are not a small businessman. You have not created jobs. You have not had to pay health insurance for your, your employees. The statement that Joe made at our, at our uh, debate down in Kiwani was, one thing clearly distinguishes us. Joel thinks businesses create jobs. I don't. Um, I, think, I think if you understood business, you would know that, that saying, making a statement like that makes business owners irate because they are the ones that are putting themselves on the line and they are the ones creating jobs and they're the people that that we need to support we need to be there to stop putting roadblocks in front of them to lower their taxes you know the, the policies that Joe has laid out there are entirely anti-business we have been interviewed and surveyed by numerous business organizations and to the best of my knowledge every single one of them has endorsed me because they recognize that I'm a guy that understands business and create jobs. There's the NFIB, the small business group. There's the Chamber of Commerce, the realtors, the restaurant owners, the tavern owners, the farmers um, have all endorsed me because they know that I understand business and this is where I can help them. Joe Majeski, you have 90 seconds. Well, uh, the one statistic that, that Joel did throw out was the unemployment rate. And it's true, Wisconsin has a lower unemployment rate. 
But if you take a look at the quality of those jobs, and he at Sturgeon Bay Schools and me at Sebastopol Schools can attest to it, over the last couple of years, instead of hiring full-time people, we've hired part-time people. Because, unfortunately, it's just cheaper to employ part-time people than it is to employ full-time people and then have to pay those benefits. It's not a good situation. The labor force is out there for part-time folks. You, pay, you don't pay them much benefits at all. You pay them a lower amount. But yeah, that means then it lowers the job rate. So just because the job rate is lower doesn't mean we have good, high-quality jobs out there in Wisconsin. I would argue just the opposite. Now let me finish that quote that, that Joel quoted me on in Algoma. Now I said businesses don't create jobs. That's the truth. But he didn't finish the quote in what I said. I said, when you have consumers, consumers that have money to spend, it's a lot easier for jobs to occur and for businesses to add growth and ja add jobs. If a business has no consumers, if no one is purchasing Joel's veterinary health care, he can't add jobs. So the key thing is to make sure the middle class has disposable income to spend. That's when jobs are created. The final word on this question from Joel Kitchens. Well, of course businesses need, need customers, they need in infrastructure, but businesses create jobs. And watch that debate, nothing's taken out of con context, I'm just repeating what he said. Um, I think people just need to look around for themselves, go down to the industrial park, look around town, everyone is looking for workers. Um, our economy is coming back very strongly, our, our tourism business, our industry did very well this summer. Um, Historically, Wisconsin has been one of the last to go into a recession and one of the slowest to come out. It's just sort of our nature to be to move um, conservatively and also the, the type of businesses that we have. We don't have a big boom or bust type of economy. So it's followed that pattern, but we're coming back very strongly and very steadily. And again, compare our job, jobless rate to other states and, and, and we're really coming back well. And I think the other party is just you know, looking for, for storm clouds on a sunny day.